bullpen late in the game. Charlie Morton made sure you stayed there. Tell me what you were thinking as the outs started to click away. Well, I knew we were in good hands when, when Charlie took over, and when Peacock, when Peacock took over for, for Lance, I knew it, it was also in good hands. So when he kept getting outs, uh, I knew the chance of me coming in the game were very slim, but I had to keep my mind on the game. I was a little nervous. I, I had very minimal bullpen appearances, especially in, in the Game 7 World Series. But, man, what can you say about this team uh, from the first game on? And, I, I, I really, I'm speechless right now, so uh, I got to give credit personally to, to Brent Straub. He resurrected my career, and I wouldn't be here without him. I told him that in the first place. So from the first pitch of the 2014 season until this last pitch here, I said, man, I owe you everything. And, and um, I, I, I want to personally thank him on air, and, and he means the world to me. Well, let me ask you about the pitching. You faced three elimination games in the postseason, won the ball, allowed only two runs. What does it say about this team? Gutsy pitching and gutsy team. We knew we had a backs against the wall the whole time. This is an outstanding Dodger team. And it was the two best teams going at it. So it was a heavyweight bout and it didn't disappoint. Dallas, congratulations. Thank you. Back to you, Joe. All right, thank you. Thanks, guys, from down on the field. We are just beginning here. From the owner, Jim Crane, as I said, took over in 2011. Jeff Luno, the GM, who took over December of 2011. From managers Brad Mills to Bo Porter to A.J. Hinch. A big build to 2017 and a 5-1 to win in Game 7. Coming up after the break, we'll have the awarding of the...